Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another RK's voice acting. I watch a lot of different interviews with Greg Berger, who I'm about to present, and this guy's past is a mystery. Thanks to an interview with future voice actor Grossman and five hours of YouTube videos, here's what I've been able to find. Greg Berger was born on December 10th, 1950 in St. Louis, Missouri. As a kid, he loved Bugs Bunny, and that's about it for his early childhood. He went to high school at University City High, where later in life he would be inducted into school's Hall of Fame. Greg is a double major graduate in theater and English from Webster University in St. Louis. He was a class behind Dan Gilvezan, who claims Greg still owes him $38. Upon graduation, Greg found work within the repertory theater of the Loretto Hilton Center, now known as The Rep. He got his Screen Actors Guild card while working in St. Louis for an organization called Communico who did industrial films. With that bit of experience, he became KATC station boot announcers before moving to Chicago to do stage acting. He acted in a Neil Simon play doing a national tour that ended in San Diego, and from there balanced the pros and cons of either going to New York or Los Angeles, and finally opted for LA and kept moving forward. His pad got him on a play, Cloud Nine, in Los Angeles, where he was noticed by none other than Wally Burr, who offered Greg to try some lines for the Transformers. After the interview, which he nailed, Wally called Greg's agent and told him he wanted to use him for Grimlock in the Transformers. You are weak, so you must be destroyed! But this wasn't his first voice acting role, so let's take a look. His first credited role is for the show Mazinger Z, where he played Tommy Davis alongside fellow voice actor Dando Kluver, the male half of Devlin alongside Elizabeth Witchman, and also voicing Jim and Mr. Davis. He voiced small parts in a couple other shows, but very importantly, he landed the role of Garfield's Odie. That's a role he reprised in almost every iteration of the iconic tune for a total of 18 times. Then he started working on the iconic show we all love, The Transformers. Of course, he did Grimlock, a role he reprised in 1986 for the movie. Me, Grimlock, love challenge! But also reprised the role for various Transformers games such as Fall of Cybertron, Rise of the Dark Spark, Devastation, and for the 2018 shows Transformers Power of the Prime, with the addition of voicing the first Dinobot combiner, Volcanicus. In addition to Grimlock, he is the voice of the conflicted Skyfire. My function is to further science and learning, not to destroy innocent life forms. He's also the voice of Long Haul, Another role he reprised for the game Transformers Devastation. Remove! Remove! Always remove! I didn't join this outfit to be a dump truck! He voiced Outback, a role he shared with college mate Dan Gilvezan. Just return in the favor! And he did the golden one from the episode Man Man's Paradise. If he dares to return, we shall be ready. In total, he is credited for 361 roles from 182 titles on BehindTheVoiceActors.com. So let's take a peek at his iconic work and some of my personal favorites. In G.I. Joe, a real American hero, he was Spirit, Ripcord, Cutter, Firefly, Colonel Brekov, and Sparks. He was 6 characters on This Is America, Charlie Brown, 16 characters on Garfield and Friends, and he voiced 9 characters on Rugrats. He's the iconic voice of Cornfed Pig from the show Duckman, and he's credited for 30 characters from the show Ah! Real Monsters. He portrayed Mysterio, but more importantly, Craven the Hunter in Spider Man, the 1994 animated series, which is one of my favorite cartoons. Greg lent his voice to four characters on a show I like for some reason, Johnny Bravo, but also did 23 characters on the show The Angry Beavers. He was involved with different Batman titles such as Batman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, and Batman the Brave and the Bold, for a total of 8 characters. Surprisingly, he did not voice Grimlock in 2015's Transformers Robots in Disguise, but he did voice Stockade. In video games, he was involved with the Spiral franchise, mainly as Hunter the Cheetah and Ripto, 
but also voicing a total of 15 additional characters. He's also part of the Star Wars video game franchise for his various roles in Racer, Phantom Menace, Jedi Power Battles, Obi-Wan, Racer Revenge, Bounty Hunter, and Jedi Academy. It's also worth mentioning he's the voice of General Kalani from both the Clone Wars TV show and Rebels. And a lot of people know him as Jack, a role he reprised in five Final Fantasy titles. But I knew him from my Moniker's Inspiration franchise when he took the role of Turrell in Legacy of Kane Defiance, the last release title of that franchise. Greg had also various roles on screen. Most notably, he was involved in a 1978 B-movie classic, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. And if my eyes are as good as I think they are, he's this guy right there, credited simply as Sergeant. But more seriously, he played in popular shows and movies such as Too Close for Comfort, Quantum Leap, Night Court, Frasier, and Police Academy 7 Mission Moscow. I think Greg has to be one of the most loved voice actors in the Transformers community. Not only is he talented, but watching many hours of interviews with Greg, I realize how grateful this man is for the fandom that followed him all these years. He's thankful for the fans and happy he was able to have such a great career. His induction in the Transformers Hall of Fame in 2020 was well earned. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of Greg Berger's career. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I really like reading you guys. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!